Hello and welcome to Sex Talk with Linda, Episode 7, How to Support Your Partner with Vaginismus. And in today's talk, I'm going to give you six tips to really support your partner as she navigates her healing journey. I'm Linda Connors, an international sex hypnotherapist and confidence coach. So you are most likely listening to this because your partner or maybe your wife or someone you are dating has been diagnosed with vaginismus. So first of all, I want to talk about what vaginismus is and then we're going to jump in to the tips. So vaginismus is a condition that is caused by the fear of anything being inserted, penetrated into the vagina. So here it can be a finger, using tampons, having a medical examination, a penis is unable to enter the vagina. So imagine like if you try to insert your penis into your partner, there is a block or a a wall there. So the walls of the vagina, the muscles of the vagina begin to become tense and in a way shuts down. So nothing is able to penetrate. And alongside of that is often, for some women, intense fear and anxiety about fear of sex, fear of pain, and fear of having anything in their vagina. So perhaps you may have noticed at times when you approach your partner to hug or to become intimate, You may notice at times she becomes tense or pushes her away. That is the automatic response to vaginismus because there may be a fear within her that fears that this may lead into sex, which I'm going to talk about shortly. Now, we all know that sex is an essential part of adult life and relationships. And when your partner has been diagnosed with vaginismus or experiences painful sex, it is only natural that it may start to impact your relationship, especially if the two of you are not able to sit down and speak about this honestly and openly. So men are often at a loss in how to deal with it and support their partner during this journey. You may even feel guilty that you still want to have sex but you worry that you may cause her pain. So let's dive into my six tips on how to support your partner when she's been diagnosed with vaginismus. And before we go into this, if your partner has not been diagnosed, please support, encourage her to speak to her doctor or a medical consultant because there at times may be underlying medical conditions that may be causing this. So tip one is be supportive to your partner in a really gentle way. Ask her questions without trying to solve this. Women want to be heard. And the way the men's brain works, they seek solutions. And sometimes perhaps your partner just really wants to be heard on on how this feels for her, how the impact this also has on her. And encourage her to seek treatment. And sex hypnotherapy can also be really beneficial. And throughout the therapy process, continue to be supportive. Ask your partner, how can I support you with this? How can I be involved in this? What support do you need? And be open to what she shares with you. And by being positive, this will help your partner to stay motivated and focused. If your partner has been provided with some dilators to use, um, give her space to, to use them privately and discreetly if that's what she has asked you to do. And some um, women also, once they get comfortable using the dilators, they may bring their partner in and you may begin to use them together. So tip two is educate yourself. 
Educate yourself by reading websites, forums or, or articles on what vaginismus is and what help is available. I really understand that you may be finding it really sexually frustrating at not being able to have sex and especially if um, your partner is avoiding any intimacy with you. However, she was most likely feeling high anxiety about the thought of having sex or having anything penetrated or even near her vagina. Three, celebrate success together. This is really important. If your partner's able to use the first, first dilator, celebrate with her. It's really important to acknowledge and celebrate success together, regardless of how small or big the success is. And especially with the way the male brain works, I really understand that you're wanting, maybe wanting to get to the end point before she is ready. So by celebrating these gentle steps of success really helps her to feel held and supported. Tip four, be honest about your feelings. Many men re remain silent about how vaginismus impacts them by bottling up guilt, frustration and sex associated with not being able to experience a natural and healthy sex life with their partner. It's important that you are honest with your partner about how you are feeling. Discuss that you still have sexual feelings towards her without putting any pressure on her. To still hold space for her journey. And one of the key aspects of overcoming this as a couple is communication between the two of you. Tip five, continue to be intimate. At times, men may deny any sexual feelings and desire for sexual intimacy. So in a way, you are walking on eggshells around your partner and avoiding any sexual or contact or even intimate intimacy with her. Remember, sexual intercourse is not the only way you can be intimate with each other. If your partner agrees, set time together to rediscover each other's bodies through massage, stroking, touch. Create boundaries such as this is not going to lead to sex so that she feels safe and can relax into it. Tip six, enjoy and have fun together. By communicating and being open and intimate with each other, we not only support your partner to overcome vaginismus and painful sex, but also strengthen your relationship with each other. Schedule some fun things to do together. Surprise your partner and let her surprise you. Continue to go on dates and have days out doing the things that you both enjoy. Holding hands, kissing. And on your partner's journey of healing and overcoming vaginismus, each woman's journey is different from another's. Some women carry sexual shame, guilt, fears that have been passed on through society, family generational things, religious aspects. So this, her journey isn't just about being able to have something inserted into her vagina. This is also a journey of her exploring who she is sexually, reconnecting with her sexual energy and also reconnecting with her vagina as well because at the moment the vagina holds a lot of fear, anxiety and stress as well. Now I hope these six tips for supporting your partner with vaginismus has been useful and helpful for you. If it is helpful please press like and also subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date with any new talks, any new videos, meditations or 
hypnosis recordings as well. If you or your partner would are looking to work more deeply with someone, I invite you to have a look at my website. The details are listed below. And thank you for joining me on this talk. Take care.